Hi, we're very excited to present to you this plugin revisit content that allows you to display different content snippets to different people, uh, whether they are return visitors, subscribers to your email newsletter, customers, or even subscribers to different email newsletters or customers of different products that you may have. Let's take a peek how this plugin works. After you install the plugin, you will see a new item here. We'll click that. The first tab is the visitor tab. You can select to track whatever type of visitors that you want. And you can even add custom visitor types here. As you can see right now, I have checked the return visitors, the subscribers that I want to, I want to track subscribers. And for right now, I'm not going to track customers. And for the moment, I do want to auto cookie people. This is very useful if you have a brand new site or like in this case, maybe the site is, is existing and you just started using the plugin. Naturally, everybody is considered a new uh, visitor according to a plugin. So unless you auto cookie them, the plugin will not know uh, or unless you send people through a special URL. So that can be turned off if you want to. Uh, you can also track uh, subscribers of different newsletters, for example. So let's say we have ABC newsletter and uh, we enter the name of the visitor type. This is just for our reference only, but this is the ID that the plugin will use. You can edit this if you want, but know that you shouldn't have any spaces or underscores. Uh, if you're not sure what you're doing, just leave it as default. That's fine. And if you wish to, you can add more custom visitors, but at this moment we don't have to. So we'll click save settings. Our next step is to hit the visitor content tab. The next thing we have here is to select a content snippet for the return visitor and enter the content that you want to show here. And you can also change how many days you want to cookie them. Right now I'm going to leave it as default. I can also add some more content for each type of visitor. So I, I was tracking two types. I was tra sorry, three types. So I will add a subscriber. And now I'm going to enter content here that oh, this only subscribers will see. And then I can add content also for those who are on ABC newsletter. All right, now we click save settings. Great. Now that our content snippet is all set up, what I want to do is display the content. Now we can display the content in two different ways, either as a short code inside a post or a page, or we can use widgets. So let's try the widgets right now. Let's go ahead to appearance and widgets. And I'll look for this widget here and drag it over to the widget area. I'm going to put it on top so it's easier for us to see. And um, I'm going to put a heading. You don't have to. Uh, you can leave that blank for sure. Uh, but I'm putting that header in there so that we can easily identify it later on when we do our testing. And I'm going to tell WordPress that we'll show this to returning visitors. So we'll save. The other option is we go to all posts and uh, we can add a short code into a new post or any post that you have already pre-written. Uh, let's click on that. Put your cursor where you want the snippet to appear. So let's say I want to put it right on top. And then we'll click this little icon here. And I'm going to say I want to show this to subscribers and insert right there. Now it's going to try to uh, grab the content because we are not cookied and that's why it shows showing the default. You can also edit and change that if you want to track different people. But for right now, I just want to show that to subscribers update and click update. All right, so now if we go to the website and we refresh this, you will see 
for my sidebar, I have the default content showing up, which is natural because I've not been to the site before this and the, the plugin will recognize me as a, a new person. Even if I refresh and I click around in different places, you will see the default content is still showing up. Uh, and that's normal because naturally you don't want to show people the revisitor content or the return visitor content until they really return. So what happens is that um, the plugin will wait 24 hours before it starts displaying revisitor content to the people. Now that we've been cookied and 24 hours has passed since the last time we visited the site and now we return to this website we can either we either return to this post or any kind of page or even to the home page uh, you will see that the sidebar content here this content snippet has changed from the default into a welcome back message simply because i'm cookied as a return visitor and that's how it recognizes me and therefore it shows me a message uh, that is tailored to me as a return visitor what happens if somebody joins your list how does the plugin know uh, that this person is now a subscriber how do you tag this person as a subscriber well that's easy first thing you do is I'm sure you have a landing page for it. this is an example of a landing page that's on WordPress that's on the same site so I would go to edit page and of course I'm assuming this is the same site that you have the plugin installed so all pages when you have the plugin installed will have this box here called uh, URL builder so all you need to do is to select a tracker or rather the visitor that you want to track and in this case it's a subscriber now I want to tag them as a subscriber get tracking URL and one thing I want to make sure to do in this case is to check the override button uh, so instead of after people opt in instead of sending them to just the plain URL I would send them to this entire URL that's been created for me so I'm gonna copy this and the override basically tells the plugin to say hey uh, if this person has been cookied as something else uh, override them and say they're custom they are subscribers so I'm gonna close that off and next step here will depend on what uh, opt-in system that you're using we're using Aweber here so what I would do is in my form I would go to uh, the next step here and where it says thank you page I would say custom page and enter URL that's the URL that I will enter and uh, I will save that that form so now when they finish subscribing to the newsletter and they get to the thank you page they will automatically be cookied right so let's open a new tab and pretend that we just subscribed to your newsletter and we clicked on or sent directly to the special link and now we are on the thank you page uh, you will not see anything happening in here and neither will the, the subscriber and that's fine but if uh, I have this special little tool here that will tell me right now that I'm already tagged as a subscriber and not a return visitor so the next time I go to a page or a post that shows subscriber content which is right here then this shows up remember early on it was showing default content so now because I'm tagged as a subscriber it's showing me this snippet instead and it's trying to tell me hey because you are a subscriber to our newsletter you enjoy a special a subscriber only 20% coupon and to try to get them to click and move them further into the funnel as a uh, customer so I hope you see the potential in this plugin you can really go into so many different ways and so many different levels to amp up your marketing get yourself a copy today <music>